So I'm working on the Ruger red label box here. And I've got the aluminum panel fit into the uh, this recess here. And I'm going to uh, rivet this aluminum hinge. And so what I did before and what I'm gonna do this time again is spray some Super 77 on there, on the hinge and on the uh, panel and bring them together. And then I can just flip it over or mark it and pop in the rivets. That I found that to be the easiest thing to do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, mark off the, uh, the tape here. I'm going to uh, mask this off. So I just get the glue where I want it. Then I can do the same thing for this hinge. I'm gonna have the hinge on there like that. I'll just put some more tape to cover up the uh, Part of the hinge I don't want the glue on. This is pretty uh, interesting tape too. It's, it's, uh, this is ram board seam tape, but I found it's pretty nice for, uh, I had some laying around from a project from where I was putting down uh, ram board to protect my wooden floors when I was working on it. But I have some of this left over and uh, the tape is awesome for masking uh, things off. It's wide and pretty much sticks to everything. And so now all I have to do, I can uh, turn this around and spray the uh, Super 77 right across here and let it uh, set up a little bit. What I like to do uh, with this, make sure it's squirting good before you try to apply it. So I will, uh, test spray just in the air. It's looking good. Then I always turn the bottle or the can upside down and clear it. So it'll be ready to go the next time you use it. So now I just have to wait and let this uh, uh, get tacky and then I can glue it together. So I believe it's uh, set up enough. It's kind of tacky. So I can go ahead and set the hinge where I want it. And the masking tape just protects the uh, part of the hinge that I don't want glue on. So I'm gonna open this hinge up a little too. It opened up there and centered. And then I can just remove this. Then later I'm going to go back and clean all this up with alcohol and I'll get rid of all these marks. The, what I call the maker's marks. And then uh, what I'm going to do here is set it in from the front. I'm going to set it down into the ledge and center it. So it's where I want it on the front. And then I just have to go through and... Uh, press it down onto this hinge. So, move the box out of the way now. I'm gonna be doing some riveting. So now the hinge is stuck to the, uh, to the lid. I often thought maybe if there was some adhesive I could use, it might be nice uh, to just glue it. So I've got my, uh, my rivet gun, it was already set up from before. And my punch also, it's a little hand punch, set up with the eighth inch uh, rivets, the rivet hole. Actually, I'm gonna, set this on the box to make it easier to uh, access here. I'm not going to be punching, uh, center punching. I'm just going to go ahead and 
work this right into the, the hole that's already existing. Actually, I do remember now, um, I do need to punch, I need to punch uh, new holes because uh, the screw heads would interfere with the rivet head. So, glad I caught myself. I'm gonna go ahead and get a uh, micrometer to etch a line and, uh, and a center punch. Got the, uh, the caliper here. I'm gonna set it up to, uh, not actually taking a measurement, I'm just uh, eyeballing it with the center line of the holes. And I'm locking it down now so it won't move, it's stable. And then I can just come through here and ride right along the edge here and, and uh, scribe a line. Right where I want my rivets to be. And I'm just going to eyeball it. I'll put one out here on the end here. So I've got the hinge uh, attached to the top cover. Now I'm going to uh, attach the hinge to the wood frame. So what I'm gonna do is get it centered in this recess that I've made for the hinge. And I'm going to stick a screwdriver in here and push down on the leaf, the bottom leaf and slowly open it up. And for now, I'm just gonna run a screw in there. Later, I'll go back and correct that, that bevel. I'm using these uh, number one square drive heads. But right now I just want to lock it down to make sure it's in the right spot. That looks good on that side. Let me see. Oh, it looks over here. I'll do the same thing. I'll stick the flathead in and hold down firmly on the leaf. And then pull up. So I've got all the screws installed on the hinge and got a closing like I like it. Next step will be to install the uh, latching hardware. <laughs> 